beat, beat, beat face. Hey guys, it is your favorite pretty girl, pretty girl peeps, here with a video. It's a get ready with me. So I'm not gonna stand here long because this video is already lengthy. Um, but if you wanna see how I achieved this look, then of course, just continue to watch. Hi you guys, this is your girl Pretty Girl Peeps and this is going to be a get ready with me video, Valentine's Day edition. So right now I know I don't look like much of anything is going on, but hopefully by the end of this video I look like I got a lot going on. You, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully by the end of the video I look like I got a lot going on for myself, you know what I mean? So um, I thank you guys in advance for joining this quick journey with me, going over this quick look. So we will ultimately see... Um, by the end of this, how this look goes, I think I want to do like a little chocolatey, smoky something. I don't really, I honestly don't know what this look is going to wind up looking like, to be honest with you. We're just going to kind of um, play it by ear, see which palette I wind up going with, and kind of go from there. See if I want to do a really smoky eye, a little smoky eye. And like I said, we'll go, we'll go from there. Um, so we got a babysitter. So we're gonna go do a few things. We're gonna go out to eat, maybe go axe throwing and maybe go to a cigar bar. So I'm super excited. Um, we haven't had a babysitter for real, for real since like um, September. <laughs> it's been a minute. So I'm really excited about that. So that's what you guys are gonna um, see me do is kind of prepare for that, get ready. So first things first, I'm not always be on this camera looking crazy with y'all with my hair. So I'm gonna do my hair first, but even before I do my hair, I want to put a little bit of Vaseline on my lips and I want to put my moisturizer on my skin. So by the time I'm done with my hair, my lips can be moisturized and soak in my skin and be ready kind of to go into, you know, a quick makeup look. So to moisturize my face, I'm going to use the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is right here. And we're kind of going to do that. If it looks like I'm not looking at the camera, I have not yet, honestly. I want to film on my camera, but my daughter actually has with her tablet, I lost my charger, so I'll be using hers. <laughs> and guess what? It's an hour away. So, camera it is. Even though I prefer, even though I personally prefer to use a um, my Sony camera, you know, it kind of is what it is. So, um the hair that i'm going to be using today is going to be from outre it's going to be outre 60 second um quick weave and this is in the style of shiny so that's what you'll see right here and i think i just want to do a cute up down ponytail and call it a day um because i've been wearing it down this week but i think that's kind of just what will work the best for me anyway so gonna take a comb part into two and then kind of do the rest. I got a little bit of that moisturizer in my hair. So I think I want the bun to kind of be like somewhere in this area. And I've been scratching the heck out of my hair, but it is clean. Just want to say that out loud. So I'm kind of going from ear to ear. I'm gonna comb this front part out, even though I really don't need to because this part is mostly going to be in the bun anyway, so you're not really going to see it. Oh yeah, I've been scratching the heck out of my hair. I just had washed it recently, so this means I need to wash it again. Now I'm done all the scratching. I just get really dry skin in the winter months. Something I really just cannot, you know, help. child y'all see that dandruff right there thank goodness that part's gonna be covered up but sheesh kind of trying to make it even as possible yeah i don't want to wash it again but it's gonna have to get washed again clearly not today because i don't have the time i didn't know it was like that under here some dry hair so that part is parted out have to worry about the rest a little later. Probably gonna wash this in the morning because like I said, I did not know my hair was getting down like that. And actually this part could be a little bit cleaner right here. I think I was focusing on all that dandruff right there. 
Y'all got any oils y'all suggest or anything? Cause damn. Here, dry them off right now. I think if I knew I hadn't just washed it, I would be a little bit like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, but I literally washed it. You know, my sisters dealt with dandruff. I didn't really deal with it as bad as they did. So maybe this is like, it finally kind of coming my way. So now that that's done, I think the easiest next step would be is to um, go ahead and put this part in a little cute little bun. And I thought I brought my brush in here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. But I did not bring my brush. I'm gonna have to use I'm gonna have to improvise and use my edge brush. Take off my ring for a second to do this part. Put a little bit of my edge control on here. This is some Kara Care edge control. So I'm gonna just put this up like so. Lead them edges out. And we'll see how this works with the little mini brush. So I'm just putting a little bit on here. So yeah, this is get ready with me hair and makeup. And I think if I have time, I'm gonna show you guys the outfit and show you guys kind of the fragrance that I decided to put together. So for right now though, just kind of putting all the hair up, except like right there and right there. Cause I kind of want it to appear, you know, not necessarily perfect, but you know, this is what I get for rushing. And I'm not going to do my edges until I'm not going to do my actual edges until, um, the end of the look. But for now, I'm just going to put this part in a little mini bun. And again, I don't necessarily need or want it to look perfect. I more so just want it to be done in a sense and up and out of the way. I got these press on, so I'm trying like not to, not to um, get them involved too much in anything. Then I'm just gonna wrap this around in a cute little easy peasy bun that I could put the other bun around when I make it. So just simple. I like to try to keep things simple as possible. And then of course, I'm gonna need this to be a little bit tighter because I am going to um, clearly be putting this a little bit lower and I still want it to be secure. So I'm gonna see where I want to stop the band or actually, I might just see kind of how big the band is without me doing anything extra. So I'm going to kind of go a little above so it kind of looks like it's flowing into my hair, if that makes sense. And then strap the back in all the way in the back. Kind of like so. Kind of want it to look more natural. Like so. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do my edges at the end of the makeup process. For now, I just wanted this up. So then to kind of give this bun a little bit of life and to kind of connect it to the other bun, I'm gonna take like a little bit out from this side and then a little bit out from this side and leave the rest kind of down. And I'm gonna bring this out brush the rest back and I'm kind of going to just circle this around the bun that I already made. I'm going to try to do it neat but I still kind of want it to look messy if that makes sense. I think the hardest part is making sure it's still wrapped around this bun but to allow it to be like I don't want it to be too messy but I think I'm going to actually have to take that bun out so I could kind of create like one bun with both. So I want it to be messy, but not too, too messy. 
I'm also trying to not pop these press ones off. That's not quite what I'm going for. And I think to get it the way I want it to get it, I'm going to have to make me a little mini bun right here to kind of give this part a little depth. So I'm going to have to go back in with that rubber band. Sorry it's taking so long, y'all. I'm going to have to take a quick interlude to go switch my clothes in the dryer. I got my pants that I'm going to wear in the dryer right now. So I do need to switch them. Just going to take this rubber band to kind of make this little bun like so. I'm going to take those same couple little pieces of hair. We're going to try this again. We're going to bring it over. We're going to start trying to wrap it around the other bun. I think the issue is it's not going to look perfect no matter how I do it, which I kind of want, but I still want it to look like I tried. So see, it's still going to look messy. No matter how I slice and dice it. So for now, so I can move on to the next thing on the agenda, I'm just going to pin it in with the all we can. like so and then whatever here is still left out to kind of give it that appearance I'm gonna bring this up a little bit and drag some of that hair down to kind of make it look more like the hair is coming you know out of my head type of situation so kind of like a little messy bun type of situation And the only thing I'll be hating about the outro here is sometimes they do be tangle dangling. Tangle dangling. And this part right here is kind of getting on my nerves because of the way it's curling. So I'm wondering if I'm going to put that around the bun or not, too. That way there's less hair out. Because I kind of want them to look symmet symmetrical. So I might put a little bit of this part around the bun, too just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. Okay, so that's a little bit better. And because I have on the pearls, I feel like I'm maybe looking at it like I'm not getting enough of something, you know? Not getting enough of, I don't know what it is, but not getting enough of whatever it is that I'm looking for. So for right now, this is cool. I may change some things around. I don't know yet. I was just going to do straight hair because that's what my husband really likes. But all that flat iron and stuff, I did not have the time for it today. And I think what's messing this side up is it's a little tangled. Tangled, wangled. Okay. So like I said, this is, this is where we're going to stop right now. Okay, so I'm back. I had to switch my clothes really quick and get all that going. So like I said, my face is already moisturized. As far as my eyes, I don't know what I really want to do. If I want to do a soft, chocolatey, smoky eye, I'm about to be wearing a whole bunch of black. So I don't know if that's going to suffice or not. But I really don't be having no black eyeshadow like that, to be quite honest with you guys. So I think I'm going to have to use this, um, the Nomad palette by Juvia's Place and keep it pushing because I ain't really got a lot of time to be debating, you know? So for my eyes, eyeshadow base, I'm gonna use the Too Faced um, Born This Way Concealer in the color Honey. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on here. And then I'm gonna take my bullet brush to kind of blend this out. And this is just gonna serve as a base for um, my eyeshadow. And I'm trying not to go too far into my eyebrows since I just got them done. I do want to preserve them. I get them hybrid um, waxed and tinted. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to see what we can get done here. And my goal is going to be to be done in the next 15, 20 minutes. So, this, I don't want this video to be long, but at the same time, I'm giving you guys hair, makeup fragrance and outfit so it's not going to be 
you know, at the same time, we got to be realistic. It's not going to be a long video, but it's also not going to be, you know, a short video. So once that's blended out, I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush, which is right here. And I'm going to get my Laura Mercier powder to set my eyes before I do them. I think I'm just going to do a smoky brown look and probably do a deep red look and call it a day. So I'm just going to take this Real Techniques brush, dab that on the eye. I mean, I really only got like two more pieces of content to record after this, then we can head out. So hopefully everything turns out correctly, which will make everything else. And I do got to do my edges still, but like I said, I'm going to wait to the end. So I really haven't used this palette much. So we're going to kind of play with it and see what we come up with. So I think for a transition shade, I want to go into this kind of orangey um, brown color and kind of use this as a transition, sh transition shade. And just put this kind of all over, you know, I don't know the area you would even call that, but that color is really pretty. So this is going to be our transition color. My husband was supposed to stop and get me a lint roller at his mom's house. I don't know how far away he is, but he still got to like come home, shower, get dressed, all that good stuff. He went to get his hair twisted. So my goal is to try, because we're going to try to do walk-in with the X throwing. We don't have an appointment for that. We have reservation for dinner, but not for the X throwing. So we need to try to be there a little early so we can see if we can actually get, you know, in. But yeah, I think a smoky brown look for today is going to be it. And I don't really want to take too much time with this look today. But that orange kind of does bring a little vibrancy out of the look. So I do feel like I really do like that part of everything. So then as far as my outer V, I'm going to try this darker color right here. Since I don't have a black, I figure this will probably be the closest thing I have to black. And it low-key might even be black. Yeah, low-key. We in the money. We're in the money. Because I didn't want to go full out smoky. I want to kind of, you know, create a look, create a vibe. So I'm just lightly smoking that part out, but that's already really pretty. Yeah, I just, I want to look like glamorous, but still chill. Cause I mean, like I said, we're going to Axe Throwing and out to eat and maybe to the cigar lounge. So I want to look well put together, but not like I'm doing too much, if that makes sense. And this is more of a, a chocolatey black. So it looks like we won. And one of the things when you work with black, you got to work fast, but you got to work carefully. But yeah, I think I know the direction I want to this look to go in. I don't think I want to do a smoky eye. I want this to be more like a, you'll see. I think I know exactly how I want it to go. Yeah, I think I got an idea for this look that will be pretty, pretty. I think by the time I'm done with it, it'll be really pretty. But yeah, so he still ain't home. My pants still gotta dry. I still got like two more pieces of content to do after this. So my goal would be to be going within the next 45 minutes. So we'll see. But yeah, right now I'm just kind of blending this part out. To kind of see, you know, I want it to look clean too at the end of the day. And I want you to be able to see it when I close my eyes. That's very important for me too. So now as far as my inner color, so I'm kind of in between. Do I want to do this really brown beige color and really keep my eye light? Or do I want to do this like light reflecting kind of gold color and call it a day? This gold is really pretty. I kind of just want to see like right there what it looks like. So I think the gold is going to be too gold for the look I'm going for. So we're not going to use that gold. 
but we are gonna have to find my little eyebrow brush to kind of pack that color on. So yeah, I think I just wanna go with this really pretty light brown. Ooh. It's lighter than I thought it would be. It's kind of one of the things when you're using a palette you've never used before. It's like you kind of don't always really know what to expect. But I think for the look I'm going for, this is going to be the right color. So right now I'm just packing it on. Then I'm going to blend it out with this black, like near the end. So just keeping it, like I said, pretty simple. Plus my lashes are gonna be dramatic, so it's only so much dramatic I really wanna do with this look. This color is very like cream. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more brown than this. So I'm just kind of playing with it because right now I feel like my eyes look retarded, but I haven't put on liner. I have not. I still got to clean up everything. So, yeah. But I am going to like, I do want to warn you guys, I am going to re-put that black on here a little bit more. So right now, like I said, I know it looks cray cray. But once we put lashes, we add that color back. I think we're gonna be onto something. This is me freestyling this look though. Y'all get y'all getting the real. So I'm not gonna add any color first. I just wanna like go back in with whatever is already here and just blend that out. Kind of see if that kind of clears that up a little bit. So I think on this side, that did clear that up a little bit, made it really pretty. But now I just wish I would have used more of the yellow tone as kind of a transition because I feel like the orange just really pops against the, um, it really pops against that, um, the black. And I think on this side, I'm just going to add a little bit more black. And then I don't mind taking my time on eyes because to me, foundation and stuff kind of like really breezes by anyway. So like I said, right now I feel like it look cray cray, but I feel like once I actually put on my foundation, put on my lashes, we gonna hope this, this all comes together. That's the hope. Um, so I'm going to put on a really light layer of mascara. I am going to use the 5D by Makeup Revolution. Yeah, I think once this comes together, it's going to be super duper cute. Right now it looks cray cray. But like I said, I feel like once it pulls all the way together, it's going to, it's going to give what I want it to give. A lot of my looks are just freestyle though. So hopefully, that's him pulling up, I'm hoping. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I was torn between these two lashes. I was torn between the Carmel or the Miami lashes from Lily Lashes. And I am a Lily Lash ambassador, so be sure to use my code PGP to save money. Um, I think, however, I'm gonna go with the, because it is date night, we don't get no date nights. I'm about to jazz it the F up. I'm about to use these caramel lashes and we're going there, okay? We're gonna go there. Um, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna see though if I need to cut them. I'm like 90% sure I will, because these are some thick bad boys. Like Miami's thick too, don't get me wrong. But I think these are thicker near the edges, which is kind of why I wanna wear them. I want you to really be able to see that cream color but I still want you to really be able to see the smoky eye but I want it to like kind of come out and pop it out at you in a sense so 
So I'm gonna see if I need to cut these or not. If I could get them open. Damn it, my dumb ass, I think they opened them wrong. <laughs> so this is what they look like. Super duper cute. I love Lily Lashes. And not just because I'm an ambassador, but I love the thickness of the band. The lashes are always so pretty. So to me, they're like really worth the investment. Okay, so I'm gonna see where this would fall on my eye. And that way I can know kind of exactly where I would like to cut it. So I think I'm only gonna cut off a little bit, like right in between that band. Cause I have smaller eyes, so you know, you never really wanna do too much. So I'm kind of gonna cut right next to it, but not cut it all off, if that makes sense. Leave a little bit of it on. Okay. But these lashes are so cute. These were the lashes I got for my birthday last year. These are, of course, new ones. You just saw me open them, but I'm saying this is like the lash style that I wore for my birthday last year. And it's my Lily Lashes Adhesive. And I'm gonna, I don't know if I wanna do a wing. I'm trying to chill, but we might do a wing. And I love this adhesive because it's a liner and adhesive at the same time. So I'm about to do another layer of it. I try to do at least two. I think I want to do a light, light wing. Super light wing. I'm trying to make it go up a little bit more. So that's what that wing looks like. So now we're gonna quickly try to apply the lash and see what what is it giving. So these lashes are a lot. You gotta be ready to be a lot in these lashes because they're a lot. I feel like I don't remember them being this extravagant, but they're they're hell of a lot. So I don't even know if this is too much for me today. Nah, it's Valentine's Day. We'll let it, we'll let it rock. Then I got smudge under the eyes, all that craziness. So I think it's going to wind up being a-okay. Actually, I think I want to put them a little bit closer to my lids. And actually, I want to call my husband. Okay, so I got them to look a little dr less dramatic off camera. Um, I did cut a little bit off. Um, I think I cut too much off on this eye, but it is too late now. So we're just going to keep rolling with the look um so as far as primer i'm going to use the milk hydro grip primer so just going to put a little bit on my face like so and just rub it in Give this like a second or two to get a little slightly tacky. Tacky. 
take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. And then I think I talked about my, in my last get ready with me. I normally put like the stuff that I know I'm going to take with me. I put it to the side. So this is going to be something I want to take with me. Just in case my lashes lift is going to be this. So I'm going to make my little pile over there to the side of stuff that I want to take with me. So, yeah. And then I'm kind of like, what the hell? Because the lipstick I want to wear, I don't immediately see it in here. So that means I'm going to have to go through my bags and see if I can find it. I'm seeing every color but that color. So it got it got to be somewhere else. But we'll we'll deal with that in a second. But that's strange as hell. Because I want to wear Boss Lady by the Lip Bar. Um, so I'm kind of just like, where the heck? Is boss lady so it gotta be in one of my other purses so we'll deal with that in a second um so for foundation today i'm gonna be using the Too faced born this way and i'm gonna use the color the shade caramel and i'm gonna do one two three four pumps because we want a full face today baby full full face i'm just gonna push it into the skin like so and I have been mixing a little bit of butter pecan with this, but then I was finding that honestly it was making me look orange and a lot darker than what I really am. So it was giving me like this weird cast. So I kind of just stopped mixing the two. So today I figure I'll just do a little bit more coverage, but mainly only do the caramel color. And it's funny because that's what my other thing was called was um, caramel. I'm being very careful around my brows because I did, like I said, get them tinted. So being really careful. Of course, I still got to put a little bit of pigment there. Duh. I'm going to blend that out. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. So this is like in real life. This is happening. My husband got me lilies and a Valentine's Day balloon and some Bel Air. Ro Wait, I got to show him the rosé. Got me flowers. Got me a balloon and some Bel Air rosé. This is so nice. Thank you. You want to pop the bottle? Yeah, I'll pop it. Oh, it says, happy Valentine's Day, my love. Well, early Valentine's Day. Love you, dear. This is so nice. I love lilies. These are my favorite flowers. So it's super nice and a bottle of rosé and a balloon so i was not expecting that at all so you guys actually got to capture that in like real time real life so that's super cool that you guys got to see that so was not expecting that nice surprise so thank you husband so i'm gonna blend all this in really well and see I'm thinking this is more so the color I need and I'm gonna blend it into my neck and my ear area too and then I'm just gonna go back one more time and just really really blend so I think this looks better just using the one color but yeah that that was such a nice surprise he, he really got me with that I was not thinking or expecting anything like that so that was really really thoughtful and really nice the balloon's still floating in the video so hopefully y'all cool with that um so i'm actually going to try not a new concealer but a new concealer shade because as you guys already see i use typically the um Too faced born this way concealer in the color honey however i want to try it in the color latte since i'm going lighter with my face i think i should start trying lighter with my concealer as well so I normally don't, but I'm going to start under my eyes. And this color has more of a caramel, like, olive base. And since I'm using a sponge versus, like, a brush, I'm kind of giving it a little bit more product. And I'm kind of going into the nose area so that... So we'll kind of see... How this winds up working. Gonna let that kind of chill for a second. But yeah, I'm like, the honey color is really neutral and dark. So I was like, I think I need to go a little lighter. And so this color is more yellow and more 
olivey and i have a lot of olive undertones so we're going to see how this winds up looking i'm also going to do my little nose area area right there um so then i'm just going to start blending i'm going to let it sit there for a little bit but right here we can go ahead and start blending and yeah see already i'm thinking this looks a lot more complimentary with my shade than just gonna actually I'm gonna wait on that blend right there blend right there blend all up in that area and then I'm gonna use the booty to kind of blend a little bit better in that area and around it and around that area too and so then for the fun part like I said, I'm gonna, I want to let it sit and kind of marinate for just a second. So, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the blending out of this. You really want to get up under that eye area. Oh yeah, this color looks a lot better. And it actually brings a little bit of brightness to my skin too which is all the rage, cause I'm using a white concealer to do that. But you see, it brings like a little bit of color to the skin, so I do like that. Then I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. I'm getting right near that nose, cause that's gonna create a more natural contour. But yeah, I really like this color a lot, lot more. Now, I feel like I still could go slightly lighter if I wanted to, to like give a little extra brightness, but I'm not that brave yet. Not yet. And a tip I heard was to kind of go back and forth between the eyes so that you don't take off too much product or put on too much product. But yeah, I think I really, really like it. Then to kind of blend under it, and to kind of blend it out. Yeah, I really like that. I will say like right here, look a little crack right? So we just want to fix that a little bit. So I think, I think everything is looking kind of good right now. So we're gonna move on to the cream contour. Um, so for cream contour, I am going to use Rihanna's Fenty Beauty in the color Truffle. And a little bit goes a very long way. So just gonna do a little bit. Then gonna do under my chin, down here. This is just gonna bring some depth and dimension back into the look. And I'm glad I ain't got the clothes on, I'm aware, cause I clearly didn't spill something on my arm and that would've got all over my shirt. So that's where the only places I'm gonna put the cream contour. So then I'm going to take my stifling brush and just blend this out everywhere. And I'm more so patting it into the skin and you never want to go too far down anyway. Like so. And if you've ever watched my videos, I've told you guys before how that side is a little bit more hairy. And this is why I didn't do my edges because I want my contour to be really crisp. And I feel like if I'm concentrating on, am I hitting my edges and stuff, I'm not gonna get it as right and tight as I want it to be. So I kind of waited on that part, if that makes sense. So personally, I think it looks really, really, really good. Then I bought a new, recently I bought a new Morphe brush. And this is the Morphe M431. So I'm just gonna blend this out. And like I said, a little bit goes a very long way. Kind of blending it into that eyebrow area. Bring it down. And then sometimes I feel like, honestly, my fingers just do the best 
the best job just being honest and then i'm just going to take my beauty blender and just kind of make sure i got everything blended in really well and i think what i really want to start doing is using a different beauty blender for different things so this forehead area always be giving me the blues so next we're going to set the concealer so we're going to use the laura mercier setting powder in the color honey and again under eyes are gonna go first. So I'm gonna literally go near the side of the nose and I'm pressing the powder into the skin. And this is gonna set all of that makeup in that area. I'm doing this first because I don't believe in baking, but I do want this area to kinda, you know, take its time. So patting that into the skin like so. So then, I want to do my chin, then I want to do around my mouth, and then if you really, really want to go snatch bay, go right under that contour, then go do it again right under that contour, then I'm going to go right down the center of my nose, like so, then I want to do my forehead like so and that's gonna bother me bother me bother me it's gonna bother me so then what i would like to do next is go ahead and i'm gonna dust this off and i actually want to try a new palette today and this is juvia's place um this is their um, the bronzed by juvia so this is going to be like a contour palette so this is the palette that i would like to use today see if I can get it out I want to tear the box up just in case it's the wrong color and I gotta take it back because I've never tried it before but it seems like tearing the box may be the only way unfortunately I got all these press-ons y'all and I ain't gonna lie I don't want them to come off so I'm being very I'm moving very slow very gentle with it So this is what this palette looks like. This is the Juvia Bronzed and Tan. So I think I'm going to use this one for my nose and this one for my regular contour. But let's go ahead and brush this. Um, let's go ahead and brush this off. So I want to use a smaller brush and see if this makes a difference and really making sure I get all of that off. All that powder, especially in the thinner places under the eye, such as that. And this is a Real Techniques brush. Normally I use a bigger brush, but I think I wanna try, start trying this brush so I can be a little bit more precise. And I really like the way that got the powder off of the face. Yeah. Ooh, baby, I likes that. So again, this is gonna be my first time trying this Juvia's Place, so let's hope I like it. Um, Not trying Juvia's Place in general, but trying this bronze palette. I have clearly a lot of Juvia's Place things. And I like that it has a mirror that's lit so again i'm going to try the darker color i'm going to use this bh cosmetics brush you see i know it's going to be pigmented because it's juvia's so i think i do like it a lot um the pigmented like I said, it's really there. Really, really popping out that pigment. Making my face look all warm and bronzed. And then just gonna kinda tap it into the edge area, like so. And make sure you can see it right there, right there. And don't worry, I'm gonna come back behind this with another brush. Um, that's a little fluffier to make to blend it out and this is just a morphe brush and that's why it's kind of shedding i more so just use this to blend my contour out because you don't want your contour looking all cray cray 
but yeah i really like this color a lot this gives like beat 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 face look how dirty my shirt is y'all i'm so glad i didn't get dressed first i got some weird going on my like, mouth so i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer right there and right there i don't really know what's going on with that guess we'll figure it out in a little bit um so now that we got that part done i want to apply a little bit of moisture to my face so i want to use the mac fix plus and cucumber and i'm just going to take the butt and dab this into the skin and this is just going to bring a little bit of moisture into that skin And then I also like doing this because I feel like it further blends out if something's not, you know, really blended the way it should be. I feel like it, it further blends it out. So another new palette I got from Juvia's Place is the Juvia's Blush Palette. So I think I want to see, I'll just rip this. Hopefully I like these because I just ripped it. Um, so we'll see what blush in here I might want to use. And then that will help me decide kind of what, um, that will help me decide which how I want to use. Ooh, these are pretty. So I think I want to use this color right here. And I think I'm just going to use my normal yellow highlighter. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. So I'm going to just use a little bit of this Amrezy highlighter. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. It's just gonna bring a little light to the face. So I thought that that's simple, pretty. Then for blush, like I said, I wanna try this new orange brush. This is Juvia's Place Blush Rogue Volume Two. Um, and they're pigmented normally, so I'm just gonna do a little bit tap off the excess kind of cross it into the contour and the um, highlight and I'm kind of pressing it into the cheek I feel like it's giving like a really pretty pigmented look so I I so far am in love with this look and it's not even, it's not even done. Um, so what I'm gonna do is set the entire face. And I think I want to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And so again, I think what I'm gonna do, cause normally I don't, if I haven't done my hair, but I already did my hair, so I think I'm gonna spray the whole face. Wow. Wow. This balloon is so cute. Wow. That's what my baby be saying. She be saying wow. So for lips, I'm going to use the Lip Bar Straight Living. It's a brown pencil. And then I think I want to use Boss Lady if I can find it. So I'm kind of overlining my lips. And the reason I'm doing red lips is because I know that's what my husband likes. Okay, so now I have to actually go find the red lipstick that I'm looking for. So I'll be right back so I can show you guys what that looks like okay so it took me forever but this was the particular red i want to wear because this month is also the lip bar's 10th anniversary and i'm an affiliate for the lip bar i'll put their information below as well and this is like their signature color like boss lady so um it's the color i want to wear today 
and I'm going to show you guys how I apply it. Such a beautiful red. I just feel like the brown and the red just make your lips super juicy. Then I think I want to clean this side. Ah. It's cool. I'm gonna show you guys how I clean all that up. I'm gonna show you how I clean it, son. Yes, this is this look is what I was going for, and maybe a little bit more. But I do need to use this wipe. kind of one of the things when you overline your lips. You can sometimes do a little bit too much. Yeah, this is like a blood Dracula red. So I want to put a little bit more in the center. So again, I'm doing my little thing of things I want to put to the side. I'm going to put over here. So like makeup remover wipes, my lipstick, and I could put a gloss on this, but I just want to, I just want it to be dirty, red, sexy. That's the look we're going for. Dirty, red, sexy. And I think it goes with the smoky eyes. So I told y'all eventually y'all was going to kind of see what I was trying to do. So hopefully you guys can see what I was trying to do. Let me put my ring back on. So last things first i'm going to go ahead and do my edges really quickly and then i will go change so you guys can see the outfit and then i will show you guys the fragrances that i use today and then this video will pretty much be done so i'm just going to do a little bit of edge control right up in there I'm trying to copy my uh, bonus daughter she be doing the heck out of some edges I'm going for very feminine but very like vibrant that's the only thing I hate about having such a dark red lipstick the second anything is out of place with it, you're going to see it. So I probably will put just a little bit of that on there. And I'm just going to brush this. Out. And I'm just going to do this last little bit of edge and I'm going to apply a little bit more of this red and be done with it. Okay, so 
I'm going to run, change my clothes, so you guys can see the outfit that I'm wearing as well. I'm about to clean all this residue off of me. And then I'm also gonna show you guys the fragrance, like I said, I'm using for today. And then I'll kind of show you guys how it all pulled together at the end, because I'm of course not gonna be able to be like, here's my shoes. But I do wanna show you guys as much of the look as possible. So I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I have changed it to my outfit. I got most of that lint that I was telling you guys about. I had put my, I accidentally put my shirt in the washer with the, um, <laughs> my robe. So it got a little blue. But I do want to show you guys the outfit. Got my leather pants on from Swinkle Posh. Swinkle Posh. Use my code, PGP. I'm having so many codes. I'm not like trying to sell y'all stuff, but clearly I look cute. I want you to look cute too. So really quickly, I will also show a picture right here of the look because you know i'm gonna take some pictures when i go out so the picture is going to be hopefully right here if you don't see a picture that means the outfit wasn't banging like it was supposed to bang so i really quickly want to show you guys the scents that i used so i think i left one behind so um i used um victoria's secret velvet petals i also used tree huts um blossom body butter i use vaseline this makes your scent last longer ladies um i used the keels um oil and I use Ariana Grande Clouds um, body spray. And then for my scent for today, it, I'm using Valentino um, Born in Roma. So hopefully you guys liked watching this. Get ready with me. Let me know if you guys want to see more. This one was really lengthy because I really wanted to show you guys how I do my hair, my makeup, how I pick my scent. I really wanted this to be like a very detailed video. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this one. Um, maybe we'll take some tips for Valentine's Day. I don't know. It's kind of late, getting kind of close, but maybe you will. Um, so yeah. It's your girl, Pretty Girl Peace. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment.